So recently I did a video which I'll link below and in that video I went over my preferred style of concealed carry holster. In the end I had to make the decision to go ahead and retire that spider concealment appendix rig because they just don't have an option for weapon mounted light for my M&P. So I set out to find something new, something that's full of value, something that's high quality and something that will still allow me to use my weapon mounted light. What I found was Filster's floodlight. Now this isn't my usual conceal carry configuration so it is taking a little bit of getting used to but it's got some interesting options that most other light bearing holsters don't have. Here it is Filster's floodlight. It's actually really well constructed. Really tough built. Now it came with couple of soft loops which I'm not a big fan of so uh, in the package it came with the soft loops and the belt clips uh, these belt clips actually came off of a different holster the ones that came with uh, the floodlight I wasn't a big fan of them um, the hooks on the back are a little too aggressive and when it comes to getting the holster on and off, they seem to kind of get stuck a little bit. They didn't want to come out the way that they're supposed to. So I swapped out for these and everything's been fine ever since. Now if you'll notice, it does have a claw attached on this side. Inside of the package, it comes with a secondary claw so that depending on height, I don't know how well that's going to show up, but depending on height, you can swap out from this one to this one. It's a really simple uh, Phillips head screw. Pull that out, replace the claw, and you're good to go. One of the things I find really interesting about this holster is it really is truly ambidextrous. So right now it's set up for right-handed. If you are left-handed, all you've got to do is pull these screws out, flip it over, put everything back together, and you're good for left-handed shooting. The biggest reason to try this holster, the thing that really makes it packed with value, is its one-size-fits-all design. What you're going to do is you're going to order it based on your weapon light. So if you're using a Streamlight, you order the Streamlight version. If you're using a Surefire, you order the Surefire version. What's cool is that the holster actually indexes to the light instead of the gun. The gun side is fairly generic oversized um, so as long as you're running the right light for the holster you can switch that light between any gun that you own and chances are it's going to fit so the reason this holster is capable of fitting just about any gun that's out there is that number one it's a generic design as far as the opening for the gun goes number two your retention is all within the light area so You've got your adjustable retention here on the light side and then on this side where the gun sits, Filsters went ahead and installed a piece of shock cord with some washers. Now if you've got an unusually thick gun that doesn't fit in the holster, that's what she said, um, you can go ahead and pull these through which gives it a lot more room. At this point my M&P is no longer going to fit. It will, but like a hot dog down a hallway, it's going to slip and slide all over the place. In order to tighten up the retention on the gun side, I'm simply going to pull the shock cord with the washer up through this loop. The washer holds it in place. Use this crappy camera angle. Now with the shock cord and washer slipped back through these loops on both sides, it's a perfect fit. The gun seats really nicely. And when I'm walking around, it doesn't seem to go anywhere at all. If you take a look at Filster's site, they've got a whole list of weapons that fit this holster. Uh, I've tried it on every pistol that I have in my house. I've tried it on a few friends' pistols. Um, I haven't found anything that doesn't work in it yet. All right, so obviously the Floyd's custom build fits in the Filster floodlight. This has been my daily carry for a while, and I'm pretty happy with it. 
but let's go ahead and take a look at some more oddball guns. We got the HK VP9. It sits just fine. Carry that sucker on a rainy day and be happy. The Keltec PMR30. Yep, once again, good to go. So not only is this thing really well built out of high quality materials, but it's going to fit virtually any pistol that I want to use on it as long as I've got the right light equipped. You know, that versatility is a huge selling point for me. I have a handful of different guns that I like to carry. It really just depends on my mood. So having the ability to just take the light off of one gun, put it on another and use the same holster is pretty freaking amazing. Now, if we're talking about comfort, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I've had holsters that are a lot more comfortable. Not to say that the floodlight is uncomfortable. It's just not what I'm used to. So maybe there's a little bit of a getting used to it period. I don't really know. The holster is a little bit on the oversized side. I'm pretty sure that they did that in order to fit a wide variety of handguns. But at the same time, I really feel like they could probably get away with slimming it down just a little bit. Realistically though, how many other holsters out there are going to hold pretty much every gun that you own as long as you've got the right light attached? None, right? So the real question is concealability. Even though the floodlight feels like it's a little on the bulky side, it actually doesn't carry too bad. I can leave the house in jeans and a t-shirt and feel pretty confident about myself. If by some chance I actually do need to access my weapon, it's right there. There's no issues. Because I live in Washington, chances are when I leave the house it's probably going to rain. So I'm always wearing an overcoat of some sort. If by chance I need my weapon, my concealed garment's no big deal. Practice makes perfect. And about three dollars and quarters in your pocket doesn't hurt either. Alright, so bottom line is, if you're carrying a pistol that has a weapon mounted light, you know that this thing is more bulky than it is without it. That's kind of something that you signed up for when you decided to put a light on it. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just you got to get used to having a bulkier gun. That being said, your holster is always going to be just a little bit more bulky if you've got a light attached. Yeah, I can get a holster that's made for every gun that's in my safe that has a light attached to it. But how many holsters is that? How much money is going to be invested into holsters by the time I'm ready to carry every gun that I want to carry? And what if I get the newest version of whatever gun or brand is out there and holster companies aren't quite making a holster for it yet? I mean, it just seems easier to slap a weapon mounted light to it and use the floodlight. I've already got a whole drawer full of old holsters I don't use anymore. I mean, that's a crap ton of money I spent there just to collect dust. So if you're that person that likes to rotate through your firearms for concealed carry use, um, this holster definitely will work for you. Um, you know, if you're buying something like the new IWI Masada that doesn't have any holsters out for it yet, that's going to work for you. Um, if you have some weird random gun that nobody else is making holsters for, you might as well get a floodlight and call it good. So I'll leave a link below to my website. I have all the info for the Filster floodlight down there. Go ahead and check it out and see if it's for you. So far I'm really loving it. It might be something for you as well.